to continue with the second part of numeric literature. The last time we explained about saying numeric literature is in num give it to certain compounds. Not the point we explained ways we can calculate numeric literature. We explained in how we can name alkene, alkene, and alkyne. We also explained about how the functional group, the parent chain, and the substituent. Let's start with naming of alcohol. Alcohol can be named as an OH. You can identify it by using the OH. The prefix we call it what? All. In the sense, let's say we are given a simple compound of this one. We are given CH3, CH2, CH, and OH. Now, in identification of a compound, we have to understand that we are looking for three things, which are the parent chain, the functional group, and the substituent. Remember we said the parent chain is the longest chain or the chain with highest number of carbon. While the functional group, specific names give it to certain compounds that describe their chemical reactivity. Substituent element or compound which are not part of the parent chain. Now let's move on. The first point we have to look at the numbers. Now I can count, in this case of this one, I cannot count from right to left uh, from left to right except from right to left. Why? Because the OH here, which is the highest priority, is at carbon 1. So, the longest chain here has 3 carbon, and 3 carbon we call them prop. The functional group that is present here is OH, and OH here is represented by alcohol, and the OH here, remember, we have to locate at what carbon the OH is present. In this case, the, carbon is, the OH is present at carbon 1. That means if we're naming the compound, the OH here will be 1 all. Substituent, we have no substituent. Since there is no substituent, we can name the compound by starting with the parent chain by saying it is prop 1 all. The prop here represents the parent chain, the 1 represents the location of the functional group, while the all represents the alcohol. The next point, let's say we are given CH3, CH2, CH, CH2, CH, and CH3. Now, the next same thing goes again, we are looking for the same three guys, the parent, functional group, and the substituent. Now, we have to locate the numbers first. Now, in this case, we have two, we have the substituent here, and we have the OH, because I decided to use this one as the longest chain or the parent chain. If I'm using this one as the longest chain or the parent chain, it means I have to determine the substituent and the OH. Now, in the limit of the compound, numbering the compound, we have to understand that the functional group has more priority than the substituent. So if I'm counting from this one, I cannot count from right to left, except I can count from what? From left to right. Why? Because this becomes short as we are counting. So not the point we count this one is carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now not the point we said the parent chain here has 6 carbon, and when it's carbon, we call them X. The functional group that is present here is present at carbon 3 and it's an OH. We say when it's an OH, we call it alcohol, which is an all, and the location of the carbon functional group here is at carbon 3, so we call it 3 all. The substituent, we have one substituent which has one carbon, and one carbon at the substituent we call the methyl, and the methyl is found at carbon 5, so we call it 5 methyl. So if we are naming the compound, we join, we start with the substituent, the parent chain, and the functional group, it will be 5-methyl X3O. Now, let's move on to another question. Let's say we are given this one again, we are given CH3, CH2, CH, CH2, CH2. Note, we have OH, we have OH here. Now, the same thing goes, we are looking for these three guys, but note here, we have to locate for the parent chain. The parent chain is not the same chain again, the three chain. And the three chain here, the numbering, I can count the in this sense, the OH here is present at the other very close. Then here. Okay. So if I'm counting, we start from this point. So we have one all. Okay. And we also have three all. But the parent chain here, we have five pins. Okay. So the function that is present here, we have three all. And we have one all. Substituent, there is no substituent. So the name of the compound is pent13 diol. Remember, 
The ox we have two each, so we just will present the attack. Now let's move on to our point. In this case, we have two functional groups, different functional group. We have double bond and we have OH. The same thing goes, we are looking for three things. The parent, the functional group, and the substituent. The parent chain, the same thing goes, we are looking for the parent chain. In this sense, I do not count from right to left, but from left to right. Why? Because the OH has higher priority than the double bond. So not the point, the parent chain here is 6, so it's X, and the functional group. We have OH here, and it has carbon 3, so we have 3 all. And also, the alkene functional group, which is the carbon double bond C, is present here at carbon 5, so we call it 5 in. Substituent, we have one substituent, which is carbon 1, 1 carbon, and we call it methyl. So it is 5 methyl. So if we are naming the compound, we start with the substituent, it will be 5 methyl, 5 in. The alkene come first and X the all. Sometimes you can place this one inside by saying 5 methyl X, 5 in, 3 all. Now let's move on to another functional group. We move on to amine. Amine can be named by using the NH2 group. Not the point again. In amine and amine, we are looking again for the term NH2. Remember, amines are always giving us amine. The same thing goes again. We are looking for the NH2. The functional group, the, the parent chain and the substituent are the same things we are looking for. So the parent chain here we have three carbon as previously, and three carbon we all know it is prop. And the functional group here we have amine NH2, which at carbon one, that is how we said one amine. Okay. Substituent, we have no substituent. So we name the compound by starting with the parent chain, so it is prop one in. Or we said prop amine. Now let's move on to another question. Let's say we are given this compound. We are given CH3, CH2, CH, CH2, CH2. Now the same thing happens when we did alcohol earlier. We are looking for the same three things. So the next point we locate the carbon. The same thing, I have to count this one instead of this one. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we call it six. So it is 5, sorry, it's supposed to be 5 here, so it is pent. Okay. So we have functional group at carbon 1, which one, 1 amine. We have functional group carbon 3, which is well, 3 amine. Substituent, no substituent. So the name of the compound is pent 1, 3, di. Di means we have 2 amine, di amine. Now let's move on to another example. We are given CH3, CH2, CH, CH2, C double bond, CH2. In the same thing again, we have two different functional groups and we have a CH2 group here, a metal group. Same things, we are looking for the same three guys. Now, if I'm counting, if I'm giving the, the, the numbering of the carbon, I cannot start with this one because NH2 has higher priority than this one. So I can count from what? From left to right. So the parent chain here is X, 6 carbon, call it X. The functional group is NH2, was here. So we call it NH2, which is 3 amine. And the next function of carbon 5, so we call it 5 in. And the substituent is at carbon 5 again. So it's 1 carbon, so it is methyl. So we say 5 methyl. So the name of the compound will be 5 methyl, 5 in X3 amine. And let's move on to more serious ones. Let's say we are given this one in the form of a cyclic. Now, if you look, we have to look for the same three things. We have to look for the parent, the functional group, and the substituent. Now, the parent chain here is a cyclic chain. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6, so we call it pent. Okay. And the functional group here it is NH2. Okay. And NH2 is the principal functional group. So we have 1 amine at cover 1. And the substituent, remember we talk about CH3O. We call them dioxy. Okay. So note the dioxy here composed of one, so we call it methyl dioxy. So the functional group the substituent will be at carbon remember is carbon one, carbon two, and this carbon three. So it is three dioxy. Or we say three methyl dioxy. So the name of the compound will be 
trimetatoxy. Don't forget about the cyclo. It's a cyclic compound. So that's why we play the cyclo here. So it is trimetatoxy cyclo X N one amine. And let's move on to another one. We are giving the most serious one here. Again. Not the point. The same thing goes. We have the N, and we have the triple bond. Not the point. I mean, it's always giving us N. Remember, nitrogen. It has a uh, four bonded pairs, a uh, three bonded pairs. It is N, two lone pairs, and one bond, one bond, one bond. So not the point. The nitrogen at this point here. It has five lone pairs. Uh, sorry, um, um, valence electrons. It has two lone pairs. So not the point. We have two elements here. This one, it is not an NH2, but it is representing an amine. In the sense, the nitrogen here is bonded to two different two uh, compounds here. Okay. So not the name. We are looking again for the same thing: the parent, the functional group, and the substituent. So not the parent chain here. We have this one as a parent chain because we have the nitrogen attached to it. So how many carbon do we have? I cannot count from this carbon, but I can count from this one. It is carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, and carbon 4. At what carbon? 4 carbon is represented as what? It represented as boot. I'm sorry about this one. It is boot. I was copying because of the time. So that was why I placed here paint. So it's supposed to be boot. So the functional group we have here, functional group at carbon 3 is carbon 1, carbon 2, and carbon 3. And we have another functional group at amine, which is NH2. But remember, the, the hydrogen here is not showing, but this ethyl groups has replaced the hydrogen. So not, we have, not the, in this sense, the ethyl group here, they are not placed at this parent chain, they are placed at the nitrogen. That is how we said N ethyl, N ethyl. We cannot say 1 ethyl, 2 ethyl in this case. Why? Because both the two ethyl groups are attached to the nitrogen. So in the name of this compound will be NN. Di ethyl boot, remember the form parent chain 3 in 2 amine. 3 in means we have an alkene group here at carbon 3 and we have 2 amine and this one at carbon 2. 